Earlier this month, Kayla Harrison was at the hospital the week before USC 307. She was peeing blood and had other issues. She was at the hospital again on Tuesday asking people to send her prayers. Now she says she's feeling much better. Hey guys, just a quick update. I'm feeling much better now. Sorry about the confusing video. Meds were administered, but phone privileges remain. Thanks for all your prayers. It means everything. She successfully made bantamweight twice now, which many thought was impossible, but it looks like it has taken a very bad toll on her body. She is in line for a title shot, but the question is, can she make weight safely, which is a big concern. And she will have to cut another pound to make the championship weight of exactly 135. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, your Rodriguez has interest in taking on Arnold Allen February in Mexico City. That's number four and seven in the featherweight division. They could also match up number three and one, Volkanovski versus Diego Lopez. There's some talk of Valentina taking on Whaley Zhang next. That would be unfair to Manuel Fioro, though, because she's been waiting for a title shot for a while. She's won 12 in a row and she's beaten good fighters, but... I don't think the UFC gives a shit about that. So they may do Zhang versus Shevchenko. I think Zhang would be undersized in that one, though, and lose the decision. How would it go? Let me know. Comment below. Magomed Anka Live says Dana White told him that if his fight on Saturday with Rackage is a good fight, they'll give him a title shot. So I don't know if he wins by decision. Do they not give him a title shot? And if they don't give him a title shot, who do they give a title shot to? Prohaska he beat, Hill he beat, Blahovich he beat, Rakic will be coming off a loss, Krilov's fighting next month, and Roundtree Jr. he beats. Bilal Muhammad and Tapuria going at it, I guess he says he looks like this guy from Shrek. <laughs> I mean, it's a fight that's never gonna happen. They're separated by two weight classes, 25 pounds in between those weight classes. I guess Tapuria's just going off Conor McGregor's playbook again, when he used to beef with 145ers, 55ers, and 70 pounders. Tapuria's looking to defend his title for the first time Saturday against Max Holloway in the main event at UFC 308. Max Holloway is considered to have a lock on knockout of the year, but could something else beat this? What could possibly happen to beat this? What kind of knockout could take place to beat this? Let me know in the comments. They couldn't find a replacement for Daniel Santos who pulled out of this fight, so Sad Namagamedov will not be on the card on Saturday. Former UFC fighter Sam Alvey was not happy with the UFC lawsuit settlement and he sides with the UFC. I fought in the UFC all those years and read every contract I was offered. I signed them because it was good for me and my family. I had kids for the first contract and a lot of kids for the last one too. Everything the UFC offered me was more than fair and I chose to sign it. They didn't force anything. There's some fans that feel this way, there's some fighters that feel this way too, but it does get brought up that it's a bit hypocritical that no fighter opted out of the settlement. So Sam Alvey actually benefits financially from this settlement, he's going to get money from it. And same goes for fighters who are supposed to testify on behalf of the UFC guys like Chael Sonnen. Michael Bisbing, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, and Misha Tate. Some theorize that Sam Alvey was kept on the UFC roster so long because of opinions that he shared like this that were pro-UFC and anti-union because he was on a big losing streak and he was winless in eight fights and he was still on the UFC roster, which is quite rare to have those statistics and still be on the UFC roster. Alvey was finally cut after going nine straight fights without a win, but his post-UFC career has been going quite well, fighting in karate combat where he's three. 3-0 and their heavyweight champion. Hamza Chumayev says for his last fight against Kamaru Usman, he was sick but he didn't say anything at the time because he didn't want to make any excuses, so he'll make the excuses now, but he had a great first round in that fight. Every judge scored at 10-8 for him. The next round, Usman won, and the final round, Hamza won to pick up the decision victory. There's some talk of Usman taking on Jack Della Maddalena at UFC 312 in February in Sydney. That's number two and four in the welterweight division. Tagir Ulanbekov is on this card on Friday. He was supposed to fight Joshua Van in June, but Tagir missed weight by 3.5 pounds, and as a result, the fight was canceled. Shara Bullet meets Michael Bisming for the first time. He credits him for being an inspiration due to his eye issues. He's a motivation because he's someone who went down this path already. Set an example for me. It's easier to follow somebody's path as opposed to wander around in the dark. Shara had his right eye removed after losing vision in it. He's fighting Armin Petrosian on Saturday. He's looking to use his creative striking attack to pick up the victory.
Charles Jordan gets a new back tattoo. He'll be fighting next weekend in his home nation of Canada at the UFC Edmonton Fight Night card. He's sticking on Victor Henry. Henry won his last fight via KO over Hani Yaya. Charles Jordan lost his last fight by KO to Jean Silva, who has proven to be an absolute monster. Was good for today. Yeah. I yeah. chewed it too. Sure. Yeah, me yes. too. Fucking sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Fuck with me, it's alright. Yes. Let's do this. You did great. With her. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Cross yeah. me. I got a lot in me. Just walk up. Just walk up. Oh, you look like 300 pounds. <laughs> you look, yeah, you look good. Yeah. You look good. Amir Ali Akbari is going to be taking on Marcus Buchecha on November 8th and one championships card 1-169. The card moved from Atlanta, Georgia to Bangkok, Thailand. It is headlined by Malikan versus Umar Kane. It's, it's, um, well, let me, it's, I, 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 there's several different things one could say. 